Hi again, here we are to talk about Xcode 7 and uh, the to-do app. And, uh, you know, so far we've got this uh, these two view controllers, right? So we've got our table view and then we've got this other view controller that eventually will allow us to add a new to-do item. And in this new view controller, we've got a text field, which is, has an IB outlet, and then two buttons, which have IB actions associated with them. And uh, what we need to do is we need to be able to close this view because our view is presented modally and by clicking on this button right and the modal view it won't dis it won't we don't it won't provide a back button so we'll need to be able to tap one of these two buttons to to get out of here so let's give that a try I'm gonna go to my to do uh, view controller file here and close the assistant editor and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in um, uh, dismiss view controller animated okay so we're gonna say dismiss view controller animated and then it, it the animated is a flag and uh, we're gonna say true and that says you know animate the transition like when you dismiss it or just you know dismiss it immediately right and then I'm, I'll do nil for the completion block okay and then I'll do the same thing here on the cancel button true and nil so it'll be dismiss view controller animated. Let's give that a try. So we'll give that a quick test here and see what happens. Any moment now, I guess it's behind there. Oh yeah, there we go, right? So if I click on the plus button, we go to this view and then I'll type a new to do in here like eat lunch and then if I cancel it closes the view okay now so far you know if I add a new item here like you know new item if I click Save it's not going to add to the list so let's let's do that next okay so again um, we're gonna make use of the singleton okay so that was a kind of our, our kind of main crux so far in this project is learning this concept of singleton right so here's our to-do manager here and the to-do manager is a single instance of this to-do manager class that can be accessed from any view controller so view controller is using the singleton to um, to get to the count of to-do items and to get at each of the to-do items in in the to-dos array okay um, the add to do view controller will want to add a new to do to the array so what we'll do is we'll go to the to do manager and we'll add a new function here so we'll say function and we'll say add new to do okay let's do add new to do with name how about that add new to do with name and um, we'll type name and set the type to string so whenever you call this you'll just give it the name of the to-do item and then it'll create the to-do here right so what we'll do is we'll say uh, let to-do equal a new to-do item and then when we make that to-do item we'll include the name so you know what's happening here is we're creating a new instance of to-do and then it has a named you know parameter that it takes called name these happen to have the same name but this is the variable right here on this side on the right side and it's going to be the variable that was included with this as a parameter to the function here so when you call in this function you include a name and then we're just going to pass that name on here to make a new to do item with that name okay so now we've made a new to do item we want to add it to our array so what we'll do is we'll say to do um, to do's with an s because that's the name of the array up here and then we'll do dot append to do okay so we made the to do here and we appended it to the array on the second line okay and there you go you're done okay so let's go back to uh, so now now our to do manager has more stuff it can do right it can um, count the to do's it can return a to do at a particular index it can add a new to-do to the to the list okay so let's go back now to um, to uh, add to do view controller and looking at the save button right it just dismisses the view controller so actually we need to add a new to-do here before we dismiss the view 
Okay, the cancel button can just dismiss the view and it's done, right? But the save button should save that to do to the array. So what we'll do is we'll call on the to do manager from its shared instance. So we'll say to do manager dot shared instance dot add new to do with name and then we'll need to get the name of the to do here and that should be the name that you type into the text field so if we type in name text dot text you know name text is the name of our text field ui text field object and then the, its text property is the string that it displays right and then it's giving me a problem here i think one of these is like an optional thing i think the text property is optional so we'll put that there right so we'll put the, the exclamation point on the end, right? So anyway, so there we go. Let's give it a try. So if I if I click, uh, you know, play, it launches my project. And, uh, and there we are, right? So if I click the plus button now and I add a new to-do, I say, like, eat lunch, and then I click save, I go back here, and there's no error, but I don't see eat lunch on the bottom of the list, right? So what's happening is um, we've added a new to-do to the array, but we haven't told this view to update or refresh the data, right? So it grabbed these four to-dos, but then it hasn't looked back to find out that there's a new one in there, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go back to the view controller file, right? So we're back at view controller because that's where the table view is is you know, is, is managed, right? And we're going to go down to this view lifecycle method. So this is down by view did load. And what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to add a new, uh, a new method called view will appear. Okay, so view did load is called whenever the view loads. And if you, you know, the first time you see a view, it loads for sure. Okay. If you go to another view and then return to this view, it might not load again. It only gets loaded again if the computer runs out of memory and has to delete it from memory and then rebuild it. Okay, so usually it just gets loaded once. Okay, view will appear on the other hand happens every time the view is going to be displayed on the screen. Okay, so the first time it's loaded, then it gets a view will appear method or message, and then when we go to another view, and come back, it gets another view will appear, though it might not get a view did load that second time, okay? So here in view will appear, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say table view, not able view, a table view, dot reload data, okay? And so, you know, we're calling on our, our IB outlet up here, which is a reference to our table view, and then we're gonna say reload data, and what that does is that tells the table view like, hey, why don't you go back, check the um, number of rows in section again, and then redraw all the cells here, okay, and redisplay them. Okay, so now let's give this one more try. So uh, let's see here now, we're going to, um, we're gonna load that up in the simulator here, and then we'll add a new item. We'll say eat lunch, and then I'll click save and eat lunch appears on the list. Let's add another one. Let's do um, walk to school. Um, let's do, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, what else do we do? Exercise, right? That's probably pretty good. We need to do more of that. Um, and then click save, and there's exercise, right? So every time we add a new item, it's gonna end up on the list here. Okay, so every time we return, it'll refresh the list and get the new items and add them, right? So we'll talk about adding a check mark and, you know, deleting items and managing them in other ways in, in the future videos. So, so anyway, so hopefully that was useful and I hope, and, you know, I hope that's, uh, that's good for you and provide some good information. So thanks for watching.